Hi, I'm Cider Spider, and I'm on a journey to get every available achievement in Final Fantasy XIV. This monumental grind takes countless hours of gameplay over the span of several years, and I'm taking it on one week at a time. So, let's get started. Alright everyone, we are back in Zadnor. That's right, after a very short break, it is indeed time for more Bajja content. So, the important question is, what are we actually trying to do here? And well, the easiest way to answer that is to look at what we actually have left to do here. As you may have seen, I've already finished every single relic from this expansion, and so with that done, there are just a handful of achievements left. As you can see, we've got Delibrum Savage, which I'll be tackling another day, but other than that, we have the three duels in Zadnor, Hypertoon Tabog, Menenius, and Lion again. If I can clear all three of these, I'll then get this achievement for getting all three of them done, which will then give me this achievement, Sharper Than Blades, for doing all six of the duels from Zadner and the Southern Front combined, which is a combined total of 70 points. The duels here are actually a lot harder than the ones on the Southern Front, so I'm going to try and learn them and just see how far I get, because the field notes that are dropped from the duels are needed in order to get this achievement, completing all the Zadner entries in a field record, which will then give me this achievement for completing all of the field note achievements. And I get a mount, which will be pretty cool. But because the duels are difficult and there's a full hour in between attempts at them, I don't know for sure if I'm going to be able to get any of them done. So for today, my goal is going to be working toward the final Bosia achievement that I don't have, which is this right here, Sons of Bosia. That's for getting 10 Sons of Fortitude, Valor, and Sucker. Because Bosia has a separate leveling system, which is this uh, resistance rank over here, and the experience points are metal. But after you hit the max rank, you can trade in extra metal for proofs of metal, which you can then use to buy these suns, which buff your defense, damage, and healing. I've already got 10 in defense and damage, that is the maximum, so if I get to 10 healing, I'll get the achievement. Let's go ahead and start unlocking these now. There's two, and four, and it looks like I have just enough to get to five out of 10. So it takes 20 million metal before you can trade it in for another set of seals, meaning I've got a little bit of a grind ahead of me. And so, I'm gonna get out there on the battlefront and just do as many skirmishes and critical engagements as I can, and I will try to qualify for any duels that I can. I'll see you in, uh, as soon as something interesting happens. Alright, let's see what we got here. Pretty sure this is the engagement that spawns the lion duel. I don't remember any of the mechanics here, so here's hoping I don't get hit. Okay, kinda just seems like Metal Fox chaos so far. All I gotta do is not get run over by a robot. Very simple. Now if I just chill here, I should be chilling indeed. All right, let's see. Let's do it. Easy. Good lord, how long can this go on? Look at our tank. 11 Vuln stacks. How? Oh my goodness. All right, let's see if that was the right fate. I think it was. Okay. Yeah, that was the one. So here's the thing. I... I kind of know the mechanics on this guy, but only kind of. So if we're lucky, someone else will get the duel. I kind of hope it's not me. Ah, oh, crap, it's me. Okay, um, all I know is that I need to spell. I think we'll just see, see how far I get. I probably shouldn't even waste my time putting on the buffs because most likely this is going to be a very quick failure, but we'll just have to see how I do. Also, uh, apparently with this duel, you only get one re-raise. So yeah, uh, whatever happens, happens. Get our food buff on. Yeah, I, I did a little bit of studying, a little bit of research, but having not seen it in front of me, there's a very high chance that I just get absolutely shrekt. In fact, that is almost certainly what will happen. Well, well here goes something. Foretold, sir, Bam! And harness fire, we gotta dispel water. this one. Very easy, we're chilling. Alright, here's where it gets fun. So, he's gonna spawn this clone. He's gonna, he's gonna tether with me. That means I need actually to get hit by him. So I'll stand here, get slapped by him, and not the clone. Therefore, I live. These are all the easy mechanics. He's about to get to the hard stuff, like right about here. It's this old fun. And then in, and then out. Okay, I'm actually in exactly the right spot, so that's good. Uh-oh. Okay, then we go center. We are chilling. Dude, my damage is so low. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have the DPS to actually kill him at this rate. I am taking way too long. This one, I gotta just move into that. We're chilling. Yeah, at the rate I'm going, I definitely don't have the damage. You only have eight minutes, I think, but mechanically, this isn't going so badly. I want to chill, like, here, I think. Uh-oh. Come on, go off. 
Oh. Oh, I did that wrong. Uh, whoops. Oh, I'm getting all my stuff backward, dude. This is bad. Yeah, uh, he's gonna hit Enrage even if I don't fail a mechanic, and I'm probably going to, but... This is a good experience. Alright. Oops, forgot to dispel again. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so that's a that's not a terrible first attempt. We learned a couple things there, I think. I'll take that. Alright, KCO, idiot. Bye. He seems to have a lot of health, though. I'm gonna have to... Seraph Strike doesn't seem like it's gonna be enough. Might need to get Chain Spell on. Oh, well. Oh, well, this can't be good. Ashmar! The Destroyer. If I remember correctly, this guy's mechanics here are exactly the same as they are on the uh, Alliance Raid. And seeing as how I've done the Alliance Raid as recently as, like, a year ago, I'll probably be fine. There's a lot of mad babies in Zadna right now. What's up with that? Well, here goes the things. Alright, here comes the fun part. Oh, no. Okay, we're fine. We are villain chillin'. Oh, uh, I think I'm okay. No! Oh no! This fortune has weighed heavy. And it was poor cover for when the tower fell. I'm not even gonna get rest. This is just, this is just not nice. Oh, come on. I'm already dead. You don't gotta tenderize me. Oh boy, I get to live again. Too bad I already got that res achievement, huh? Oh man, no one even got the duel. Tragedy. Well, in other news, here is Never Cry Wolf. Easy. Just don't get hit. I get the impression so far that uh, doing Hashmal for the Hypertune Dabog duel is going to be the one that's most annoying. Southern Front, it was stupid Red Shocktober, but uh, yeah, here in Zadnar, it seems like Hashmal is going to be the one that sucks. Because this fate is really easy, and the one for Lion was also really easy. But Hashmal has all the animation tells on the tower drops, which can be easy to uh, misread. They're simple enough mechanics. Mechanically, but they're, you know, kind of hard to catch at a glance, so. Whereas everything about this fight, I could very consistently do because there's not a whole lot of room to mess it up, really, once you know how it works. Okay, that's an easy qualification, and there you have it. <laughs> once again, I see myself facing the 50-50 odds. We'll see if I'm lucky twice. Uh, no, it wasn't me. This is fine, this gives me a chance for valuable research, possibly. Of the three duels in Zadnar, I do think that this one is probably the easiest. It looks almost trivial compared to the other two, although the lion one seems like it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be, so. So yeah, this shouldn't be much worse than doing, uh, the Bajia duels. But let's see how this gamer's attempt at Menenius goes. As a Zadnar Chad, I am contractually obligated to watch every fight, even if I'd rather be doing it myself. Yeah, I think this baby knows what he's doing. Yeah, that's looking like a pretty easy clear. Goodness, this guy has a lot of health, though. That's the thing that stands out the most. Maybe it's because these are tuned for the 10 rays of valor, but these fights have so much more health. Oh yeah, and while we're here, something I keep forgetting to do is actually trade in the field notes from my Delibrum runs. So as you can see from all the runs of Delibrum that I did for the Shadowbringers relics, I ended up with quite a lot of field notes left over. And I can either trade these for almost 400 silver coins, i.e. 4 gold coins, or almost 400 southern front lock boxes so might as well go ahead and do that because i think the lock boxes ultimately will be worth more than the coins and wow look at that 365 more boxes to open lucky me huh and i guess i've got nine on my retainer let's go ahead and do some inventory management while we're thinking about it right so this guy here will turn my silver coins into gold coins let's go ahead and just get rid of all those silver coins are only useful for turning into gold coins they can't be spent on anything else as far as i know and for 12 gold coins you can get a full set of this Law's Order gear, which is basically Garly and Legion Air armor. It's pretty cool stuff. Some would even call it swaggy. But more interestingly, you can talk to this same guy in Zadnar. Use 5 gold coins plus 30 platinum to get this here early to rise hairstyle. Wow, what a deal. And I could technically afford like three more of these, but I want to keep a couple gold coins just in case I do end up wanting to get a Law's Order set, because you need them in order to upgrade to the highest tier of haste set, but you have to do Delibrum Savage for that first. Anyway, as of now, the hairstyle is going for a good solid mill, so it's not terrible money if you happen to be running a lot of Delibrum for relics anyway, so can't complain much about that. And I suppose I should speed run the uh, 400 lock boxes and just see if we got anything good out of them. Well, there's another Gabriel key, that's pretty cool. An ugly bow, an ugly cane, an ugly sword, also another Gabriel key. I keep accidentally skipping them because I'm trying to click through these quickly, but then every time something interesting pops 
wakes up, I end up pressing next automatically. Mami Shiba, a third Gabriel key. Wow, they're just churning these things out today. A fourth one. The last time I opened 1,600 lockboxes, I got three total. I've already beat that score in just 200. Oh, cool hat. Bro, what are the odds? <laughs> This is just getting ridiculous now. I must admit, there is a small spark of excitement every time I pressed next, knowing that I could get another Gabriel key, and all of a sudden I understand the common gotcha pleb. Oh no, now if only I could spend money to expand my inventory slots. I mean, I guess technically I kind of can, but I'm too cheap for that. I'm sticking with my two default retainers in one Choco saddlebag forces me to stay on my toes and keep organized. Oh no, not more rain boots. I'm out of inventory spaces. Oh boy, knuckles. Biako Barding. Yeah, that's a first. Monkey King. Oh great, another mud pie. Yeah, funny thing is, I had, a, I had a lot of Bardings for my first go around of this, and uh, I got tired of waiting for them to sell, and so I ended up giving a lot of them away to random sprouts. Alright, just three boxes left. Three, two, one. Cool. And I'll save the Zadner boxes for when we're done with Zadner, and then we'll do all of those in one big go. It'll be cool. It yeah, looks like I walked away with freaking five Gabriel Alphas, which is just plain ridiculous. I'm curious, actually, how the price has changed on these, though. Ah, yes, it seems they have returned to normal levels. Odd thing was, when I made the first video about, uh, Bazia loot boxes and showed off the, the Gabriel mount, the price jumped from about 400k all the way up to 4 mil, which was just absurd. And I wasn't sure if it was coincidence or if it was because of the video. So I experimented with this with the, uh, Delibrum video when I talked about the gold-plated Gabriel mount, because I'd been trying to sell a couple of them for, like, over for a week and they weren't moving, and then as soon as the video came out where I talked about them, they sold overnight. So this is me admitting that I have too much power, and I will try not to use it maliciously. Alright, it's our time again to shine. And there's a Fem Ellison and 2B leggings. So surely we can't lose. This is gonna be probably one of those CEs that I fail a lot until I get used to the patterns. It's easy to misread his stupid pillar drops, but I bet there's a pattern to it, you know? I bet there's like only so many combinations of AoEs it can actually be. That's usually how these things work out. All right, easy pattern. Easy pattern. Uh-oh. 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 Nope. I went certifiably in the wrong direction. I think that was a north-south split. South was not the move. This is actually gonna ruin me because the hardest duel is also the hardest critical engagement. It's kind of like the southern front all over again where Lion was the hardest duel and also he was the, the hardest critical engagement. So it'll be tough even qualifying for the thing. And then it'll be even harder actually clearing it. Oh, but it looks like someone will be taking it on. Well, we'll see how this person does, but I could probably give you guys a preview of what I'm in for if they uh, do the fight legit, that is. Oh, it's this guy again. <laughs> of course it is. There are a handful of Giga Chads in the world that have never left Bosia since Shadowbringers, and it doesn't take long to identify who they are. <laughs> <laughs> this right here is the thing I'm most worried about in this fight. Watch what happens here. Let me know if you could follow what's actually going on here, because I understand this mechanic, but just look at it. I mean, that I feel like is going to be the thing I struggle probably the most with, between that and judging the, the knockback distances. Alright, it's wolfin time. I seem to have come to this place at just the right moment where everything is off cooldown. So let's go ahead and get an easy kill on this guy and be about our business. Wee, yeah. Ever complain about how much I hate spinning mechanics? Oh good, he's dead. Alright, since I have one notoriety, I'm almost guaranteed to get this duel. I have never even attempted it before. So this is going to be a little bit nerve-wracking, but it's very easy. So altogether, I'm not that worried. The most important thing for this fight is having Light Curtain, which I do. As long as I remember light curtain, I'll probably be okay. A little bit nervous, but uh, I don't think this guy's actually that hard, so I just have to not choke is all. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, find the mine. Gotta hit the blue one, not the red one. I don't actually remember what Giga Tempest does. Alright, Southwest Mind is out from the corner. Southeast Mind is deep in the corner. I know everybody's gonna tell me that uh, I can mark these on my map, but that sounds lame and for babies, so I'm not gonna do it. I can just memorize the locations. Ah, oh, crap, this. Uh, yeah, we're fine here. We're fine here. Spiral Scourge? If I'm being honest, I don't remember what that is. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember what that attack does. <laughs> oh. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, alright. 
This is kind of bad. I don't know if I got the DPS at this rate. It's taking me way too long to kill him. All right, next one's going to be knockback. Yeah, I don't honestly think I have the damage even to kill this guy. I think I'm taking a little bit too long. The death didn't help, but let's just see how we do, I guess. Freaking Excel bomb here. Oh, no, the mine. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, no, that, that seems easy. Uh, the DPS check is going to be the annoying part about that. I think I need to get the rest of my haste gear, probably. And I think that might be what I do. Yay. Okay, time for some Meninius action. I just carried two babies through the, the CE, so I know full well I'm the only one that qualified. And I have two notoriety, so I really can't lose this chance. Virtually impossible. The question is, will I defeat the duel? That I do not know. Yep, that's me. Okay, so, since last I attempted this, I did in fact do some Southern Front on stream. I was able to grind out a augment for my code of healing so now i have a total of eight haste i was hoping to get the pants but i'm too lazy to grind another one out and too cheap to pay for it on the market board so we're just gonna hope that eight haste is enough it should be if i actually play reasonably well the real question is can i get the mechanics down last time i forgot about mana wall this time that won't be an issue, but uh, I still have to perform on everything else, so let's just uh, see what happens, eh? Callous Crossfire is where our light curtain comes up. As long as we reflect that, we're going to be okay. <laughs> Easy. That is dark shot. We're going to want to be away from that. All right, Magitek Impetus means I'm going to get a, an arrow here. It means in 15 seconds I'm going to randomly start running to the right. Wee hee hee. Uh, yeah, let's go here, I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this one I need to mana wall. <laughs> Easy. Oh, active munition. Uh. Oh, right. This one. Uh, that's not good. Don't remember if I turned my re razor on, but I don't think I did. All right, the DPS has got to be higher than this, I think. Ow. I think I ate a mine. Ah, uh, move, move, move. Oh, didn't move. Yay, we re raise. Oh no, the mine! Oh, it's fine. Kind of? Oh no, it's not fine! Oh man, okay. Messed a couple things up there, but <laughs> I got a lot of things right. Uh, man, this is gonna take some doing. It's kind of stressful. Um, I still think that's gonna be one of the easier ones. The biggest concern is just as I fight him, I, I see that his health is not going down that fast, so like, I gotta figure something out. I, I think after Mana Wall, I wanna swap in Chain Spell and start doing that, because the extra damage from that should really make all the difference. Anyway, we'll get him next time. What? Oh, how did I not get chosen? I have two notoriety. All right, well, let's see what our gamer does. Yeah, it looks like we're doing the flare star kill. Oh, somebody forgot the reflect. Oh, good thing for the re-raise. Oh. <laughs> oh, right. Reflect kills the bots, which stops them from shooting again. Oh, that is tragic. Yeah, so the idea there is to stack all the buffs possible and then drop Flare Star on him, which has a DOT. So you get the max DOT on Flare Star and he just melts and all you have to do is survive. But you gotta bring your reflect or you don't survive that. I think maybe they thought he was gonna die faster than he did. I don't know. It's tragic. It was at this point I devoted a stream to chasing down a dual clear. I was pretty confident I could get at least one of them done within an eight hour show, but I only got four attempts across the entire day and here's how they went this next one i need to dispel i think i missed the dispel hold on dispel there we go oh crap i dispelled too early and then i dispelled too late wow that's annoying guys this is bad he's gonna cast enrage now like yeah yeah that's enrage right there <laughs> it was a, a kind of a valiant effort but like not that valiant though so this is why i said the dps check is gonna be the hard part of these fights because like as you can see you know 25 percent of his health still left now mind you if i didn't die five times that would make it a lot easier but like that's still a tight DPS check, even if I like, even if I hadn't died, that still would have been close, you know? Okay, Heart of Nature is what it sounds like. Same old ability as always. I apparently ate that. Uh, I did not see what order these spawned in. That's going to be a big problem. I did it backward. Yeah, that's no good. How did I get hit by the heart of nature? I did it right. Ah, I did it so right. So we want to go there. And then there. 
Ah, crap, I got hit by it. No re-raise. Dude, that was like a pixel. So after an entire day of making no real progress, I decided to spend a second stream cleaning up the fights and hopefully clearing one. This one also boiled down to four duel attempts in eight hours, and they went like this. That's forward march. Oh. Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> this is fine. Oh, I'm getting snapshotted so hard here. Yeah. No, that's game over. Oh, that was so bad. Slap on a potion kit. Just in case. Does he have a light curtain? Oh. Oh, I didn't bring the... Okay. Well, this is not clearable without light curtain. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's, it's literally unclearable. Can I... Bro, they kill you through mana wall? Wow. How did it get so much worse? What we got? What we gonna hit him with? We're gonna moon lift that one. That wasn't even remotely close. The fights are hard. They're not that hard. They're not that hard. There's <laughs> just like, there's no reason to be failing basic mechanics like that. No, no, no. Quit making excuses. I don't want to hear excuses. I just messed it up, okay? Like, I just sucked at it. I don't want pity. All right, that mine is wall. Oh. Forgot about the impetus. Okay. That was better. That was a lot better. Um, so yeah, uh, overall, not a very productive week. That was pretty rough. We went the whole week after several attempts. I did not clear a single duel. And in fact, I dare say I really didn't even get close. Actually, it's 2.47 a.m. It's Friday right now. So as a last ditch effort, here we are in the East Shroud, knocking out some leave quests. Get drilled, idiot! Bam! Because as it stands, I have accomplished almost nothing all week. Well, you know, maybe I suck too hard. Maybe I can't clear a Zadner duel, even after as many attempts as I've had. But you know what I can do? I can drill this idiot! <laughs> LOL. Let's see an emblazoned Chad do that. Uh, speaking of emblazoned, I also did not manage to accomplish that either. Uh, because I budgeted my time so poorly, it just didn't end up happening. So I ended up with a solid 8 out of 10 on Rays of Sucker. I still need two more, but because it uh, scales up how much metal you need in order to buy them, there's just no feasible way that I could get those. I assumed I would get the amount of metal I needed over the course of the dual grinds, and I just didn't get as much as I was expecting. So yeah, kind of a rough week. Sometimes things just don't really go according to plan, Hannah. That's uh, one thing that we're going to find with this series, especially as it gets into the later episodes, but I'm not always going to have a successful week. Sometimes you spend a lot of time working toward an achievement and you just don't get it. I was really hoping to clear at least one of the duels or failing that walk away with the emblazoned achievement, which was uh, this, this achievement here. But no, no, we got nothing. There's one saving grace, even though it is Friday, at the time of me recording this. I did technically get one achievement this week. It was on the Sunday stream. I won't even bother inserting the clip. I already showed you some stream clips earlier, but I knocked out this one. Working the Bellows Adept for 10 points. I got that on the Sunday stream. We did a thousand syntheses for level 51 to 60 smithing recipes. And I actually got a, a lot of gathering done for a couple more of those crafting achievements. So between the dual prog, the metal prog, the gathering, you know, the, the crafting prep, the get drilled idiot! <laughs> and whatnot. Um, basically, I'm poised to walk away with a lot of achievements next week. And so I'm really going to have to put in a, a, a stiff effort to make sure that I make up for my failures. But we're not about to end the whole week with just one achievement gained. That would never do. Why are we doing leave quests here and now at 2.51 a.m. on a Friday morning? Why are we doing that? Well, first of all, because this idiot needs to get drilled. That's the most important reason. But this may be hard to believe, but I'm actually pretty close to another leave quest achievement. I've been waiting a long time for this one, and now we're almost there. So anyway, it's a bit late in the video for a comment question, but I might as well ask one here. This is kind of similar to one I asked recently, but uh, what was your biggest failure? in either hunting for an achievement or trying to accomplish some goal. Because this one is mine. Trying to get a duel done for an entire week and not managing to accomplish it is definitely my greatest failure so far in the achievement hunting series. Uh, but yeah, you know, what, what was something that you thought you had in the bag and then completely botched in perhaps unexpected ways? Bonus points if it's hilarious. And yeah, me personally, I've, I've had all kinds of embarrassing failures in my life. Some would say my whole life is an embarrassing failure. Thanks, 
dad. But a perfect example is actually uh, this YouTube channel. A lot of people ask me why I chose the name Cider Spider, and uh, the truth is it has nothing to do with Final Fantasy XIV at all. This is a YouTube channel that goes all the way back to 2016, 2017-ish, and I created it because I thought it was going to be a super cool Let's Player dude on YouTube. But I started out, you know, playing just any old horror game. I, I, I loved really, really cheap, low-budget horror games, the type of indie crap that everybody was playing back in the day, as well as a couple of random AAA games like Overwatch. I was big into that at the time. And uh, let me tell you, I put a lot of time into playing these video games and uh, recording my dumb commentary, posting these stupid videos on YouTube, but one thing that I didn't put any time into was video editing. I used to post unedited videos, and nobody watched them. And so after a couple of weeks of this, realizing that this wasn't getting any views, I eventually uh, got tired of it and basically quit. Many years later, very randomly while playing some games with friends, I was thinking about getting back into making videos, and since I already had this channel, which I had cleared out by then, I took all the old embarrassing stuff off of it. Since I already had this channel lying around, I just figured, well, I could put the videos on there. And that's why if you look at the first few videos on this channel, it's me playing Divinity Original Sin 2 with friends. The same group of friends that dragged me into this game, which is why I started posting FF14 videos on this channel. And even though my stupid sense of humor and whatnot is basically the same as it's always been, the type of content I make now is pretty dramatically different from what I used to do, namely because I actually edit it and put a slight amount of effort in. Not a whole lot but at least a little bit. So the moral of the story is, if you fail miserably and in a way that's very embarrassing, just try harder next time. You might succeed. So in conclusion, uh, you know, since this week has ultimately been a failure, you guys are gonna have to hold me accountable. Next week's gonna have to be great. We're gonna need to succeed at so many things to make it worthwhile. Because all I've succeeded at today is drilling this idiot. Lol. Oh, but anyway, where were we? Let's go ahead and turn in that leave quest. And there is the Iron Wood Leaf. 20 points. That's right, gamers and gigachads. That is 500 company leave quests for the Order of the Twin Adder. We have finally finished our second set of grand company leaves. That means all that's left is the Immortal Flames. So yeah, lo and behold, that's about two and a half months worth of allowances. But once those are done, we get to start chipping away at these big boys. Yippee. Anyway, I know this was a bit of an anticlimactic episode, but let's go ahead and roll the outro. See you on the other side, idiots. Hi, welcome to the other side. So yeah, not my most successful week, but we've prepared a lot of things for next week's grind. A lot of progress was made, but I only got two achievements this week for a total of 30 points. This brought my LAL achievement score up to 16,160, which moved my world rank from 145 to 144. Check out the Twitch stream if you want to follow the journey live. I'm doing four shows a week right now, so it's a load of fun. I also hit 50k subscribers on YouTube this week, so I wanted to thank all 50,000 gigachads following this channel. Channel. I might do something fun to celebrate if I can come up with a good enough idea. Anyway, I'm going to get back to banging my head on the wall and failing at duels in Zadnar. One like equals one fail. Okay, bye.